next up is Dal. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about some tools that I use to extract data from open source communities. I spent the past 20 years working in technology companies. I'm currently taking a break from working to go back to school to get a PhD. So I'm actually studying the Linux kernel community as my project, which is really fun. I'm also a consultant at Scale Factory. I'm a huge fan of a set of tools, the Metrics Grimoire. It's an open source tool set, and what it's focused on, there are a whole bunch of tools that are part of that, which you can see in the, the wheel over here. But all of the tools are focused on pulling data out of various pieces of open source communities, storing all that data nicely formatted in databases, where you can then write any kind of query you can possibly imagine. So they're um, extremely useful if you have open source projects that you want to learn more about how people are participating. Super easy to use. Um, they're written in Python. You just install them. It's not that hard. You create a couple of databases. And then you import the data. And um, there are a few more configuration options you can use, like where your database is and things like that. But it's pretty simple. ML stats takes as its argument the URL where your mailing list archive is stored. And CVS and Alley takes as, as, as its argument the path to the repository that you've cloned wherever you're running this command. And so it takes all this data and then stores it in a database. Then you can write some pretty simple SQL queries to extract that data out depending on what it is that you want to look at at the moment. So this is just a really quick example of a database query that looks at the most replied threads in your mailing list, so it looks at the top 100 messages. Pretty simple. Other queries you can run, you can get the number of messages from maybe a specific person that you're interested in learning about. You can look at the number of messages per person from a specific email domain, so you can see everybody from you know, a certain company that's participated in the mailing list. Or you can find all the messages with a specific word in the subject line. So maybe you're interested in finding all of the uh, mailing list posts that have mentioned the word patch or that have you know, a certain maybe subcomponent of your project <coughs> mentioned. And then when you're looking at the, the source code data, CBS and Alley, uh, it's very similar. So again, this is a very simple SQL query that looks at the number of commits per person based on an email domain. Other queries you can write, you can look at you know, top authors of all time, the people that have made the most commits. That's generally um, pretty interesting. You can also look at the number of commits for a specific person. And you can, you can time bound this as well. So you can look at the number of commits for a specific person you know, per year, per month, something like that. It's pretty simple to use. Now I talked about ML stats and CBS and Alley, mainly because those are the two that I use the most often. But there are lots of other tools that you can see here. Um, there's Beecho, which looks at bug data or data from your issue tracker. There's another one that looks at Wikidata, IRC. The tools in the middle are actually kind of interesting because those are tools that help you aggregate it across all of these different tools. So for example, Sorting Hat helps you figure out that the same person who posted this thread on the mailing list is the same person who made this commit, who's the same person that maybe did something in your issue tracker. So it helps you tie all of those things together. How many of you have used GORS to visualize your repository data? Okay, this is a fascinating tool. It's, again, it's, it's not part of the Metrics Grimoire suite. It's super easy to use, and it does really, really interesting visualizations of your data. Um, so I didn't have time to, to cover it in any kind of detail here, but you can see my, my link to my blog at the bottom. So I did a talk on Friday about GORSE, so you can see exactly how to use that in the post from Friday. And then I also did a blog post talking about all the technologies that I did here in this brief time that I'm like. So check it out if you're interested. Okay, thank you, Dom. Any questions for Dom? One question?